simulating torque speed characteristics of three phase induction motor using matlab simulation so let's start with analysis part so before that let me draw the equivalent circuit of a three phase induction motor so it has equivalent resistance equivalent reactance then there is a secondary reactance referred to the primary and then there is a secondary resistance referred to the primary okay and this complete equivalent circuit has frame of reference as stator so the equation for electromagnetic torque developed is like this that is 3 divided by 2 pi ns ve square r2 divided by s divided by re plus r2 by s whole square plus xe plus x2 whole square so when we plot this electromagnetic torque in respect of this uh, speed so we get a characteristics like this okay so x axis uh, gives me the speed where it varies from 0 to the synchronous speed and y axis gives me the electromagnetic torque so let's move on to matlab simulation and let's try to simulate these characteristics let's open matlab simulation let's create a blank model and uh, let's create a circuit for obtaining characteristics of three phase induction motor for that i'll be using simscape power system toolboxes and uh, let me find a three phase induction motor first so this is my asynchronous machine and this will act as my three phase induction motor so i'll double click it to find out its default values so let me choose type of rotor and let me use a squirrel cage motor so i'll uh, choose from uh, number of preset uh, parameters and let me choose this one so now it's a 4 kilowatt 400 volt 50 hertz 1430 rpm squirrel cage induction motor the next thing is the mechanical input uh, let me choose from the three options and uh, i'll choose the speed as the mechanical input and the frame of reference let's suppose it's the stator so now this is my three phase induction machine let's connect it to a three phase source so i'll use this three phase source i'll change the value to match the uh, values of my machine so let me change the phase value to 400 volts and let me change the frequency to 50 hertz so we'll uncheck this internal impedance i'll hold the control button and i'll click them and it will connect the two blocks automatically the next thing is i'll have to provide the mechanical input in terms of speed and for that i'll be using ramp signal so i'll choose the value of ramp slope in such a way so that after my 10 seconds of simulation the final value is close to its maximum speed and we can see that its maximum speed is around 1500 rpm so this input is in terms of radian per second but to get a perspective of the speed we can change this value into rpm and for that i'll have to use a gain block if i multiply this radian per second value with 60 divided by 2 pi it will give me the value in rpm okay and to get the perspective of this output we can use the display block to see the final value and uh, let's simulate it first to see if the my final value is around 1500 rpm or not but before simulating i have to use one more block that is power gui block so let me connect it and let me simulate it so i can see the final value is around 1500 rpm and this will emulate a continuously increasing load now let's move on to the output of this motor and this is my single bus so it consists of multiple signal to know which signal it consists of we have to use one more block that is bus selector block so i'll connect this bus selector block with this uh, motor output and let me double click it to find out which values it is having so it has all these values okay so let me bring the two values which we are interested into the right hand side that is rotor speed and electromagnetic torque okay now it has two outputs and the first one will give me speed and the second one will give me torque so before simulating it let me just uh, view these values in a scope and uh, since there are two values so i need to change the number of input ports so let me change it to 3 okay so the first one is speed the second one is my torque and let's connect the third one to the input but before doing this i'll have to convert the speed from radian per second to uh 
rpm so i'll use this gain block again okay so let's simulate it and uh, find out what all values are we obtaining so we are getting these values and uh, let me change the layout so that these values are available on the different graphs let me simulate it again and now it will give me three values in three different graphs so my speed and input are varying uh, from 0 to 1500 rpms and my torque is varying around the 50 newton meter mark but there is a strange thing happening that is initially it's hovering around a stable point this effect is due to the transients so in order to get a better graph we need to omit this one second from this output and how we can do that we can do that with the help of sample and hold block so i'll hold this output for one second and uh, then i can get a smooth graph okay so let me do this i'll uh, connect the input and output this to the scope and i'll use the step function to trigger this uh, sample and hold signal only after one second so i'll uh, double click it and its step time is one second so it will allow this output only after one second one more thing i have to do is that the initial value of this stock after one second is around let me just see is around 70 newton meter so i have to select the initial value to 70 newton meter this will give me a better graph okay so let's simulate it and let's find out how the graph looks like now so the first one second has been omitted from this electromagnetic torque and now we have a better view so let's plot speed versus torque characteristics using xy graph okay let me rename it to speed versus torque graph okay the input first input will be speed and the second input will be torque i'll have to change it's the range of x axis and y axis so my speed is going from 0 to 1500 rpm and my torque is going from 0 to uh, it's uh, in between 0 to 100 newton meters i'll change the sample time to 0 0.5 so that my simulation is little bit faster so let's simulate it and let's try to find out what kind of output we are obtaining so this is the graph which we have obtained and this tox characteristics is similar to that discussed in the theory part of this lecture so in this way characteristics of three phase induction motor can be simulated using matlab simlink so that's it for this video i'll share the dot slx file along with this video so thank you